Today we will talk about uh, continuous distributions, in particular two important families, the normal family and the gamma family of uh, continuous distributions. The normal distribution is defined by two parameters, uh, mu, which is the mean of uh, the distribution, and sigma square, which is the variance. If a random variable x uh, follows the normal distribution, it will be denoted by the following symbol. Note that if sigma squared is the variance, then the square root, uh, that is sigma, will be the standard deviation. The probability density function of the normal distribution is given by the formula 1 over square root of 2 pi times sigma times e to the minus x minus mu over sigma the whole squared. In the special case, when the parameter mu equals 0 and sigma equals 1, we get what is known as the standard normal distribution and is typically denoted by capital Z. The PDF in this case uh, looks much simpler, which is 1 over square root of 2 pi times e to the minus z squared. There is an important transformation that relates the two uh, integrals in this equality. Uh, it's a question of doing the change of variables, that is z equals t minus mu over sigma. We can use this fact to calculate probabilities with respect to the random variable x using uh, the standard normal distribution as described in the following formula. The relationship z equals x minus mu over sigma is often called the z-score of x. And uh, we can similarly calculate the value of x given a z value given by the formula x equals uh, sigma times c plus mu. We now described critical values uh, Given an alpha inside the interval 0, 1, the critical value z alpha satisfies the following equation. It's the probability that capital Z greater than z alpha is equal to alpha. A pictorial representation of uh, what the critical value satisfies is shown in this diagram of the bell-shaped curve. Notice that the red shaded region is exactly uh, the probability that capital Z is bigger than or equal to alpha and the point Z alpha is given in blue. If a random variable x uh, satisfies the normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared, then the expected value of x is exactly going to be mu and the variance of x is going to be sigma squared and the standard deviation of x is going to be sigma. We will next talk about the gamma distribution. The gamma distribution is given in terms of two parameters, uh, the alpha parameter, which is called the shape parameter, and the beta parameter, which is called the scale parameter. The PDF for the gamma distribution is defined in terms of the gamma function, and it has the following formula. The gamma function is the integral going from 0 to infinity of x to the alpha minus 1 times e to the minus x dx. Suppose x follows the gamma distribution with parameters alpha, comma, beta, then the expected value of x is going to be given by uh, alpha times beta, the variance of x is going to be given times alpha times beta squared, and the standard deviation of x is going to be beta times square root of alpha. The gamma distribution has two important special cases uh, when we choose uh, alpha and beta for particular values. The first case being the exponential distribution with parameter lambda, and the second case being the chi-squared distribution with uh, new degrees of freedom. When alpha equals 1 and beta equals 1 over lambda, we get the exponential distribution with uh, parameter lambda, and when alpha equals nu over 2 and beta equals 2, we get the chi-squared distribution with new degrees of freedom. 
the expected value, the variance and the standard deviation for the exponential distribution and the chi-squared distribution are calculated as follows. The normal distribution is by far the most important distribution in statistics. And uh, uh, the chi-squared distribution is also going to show up when we end up doing inference with uh, regards to uh, variance. We will be using these distributions a lot in what follows uh, in this course. Uh, but for now, this is all. Good luck and see you around.